I assure you, the empire I seek to create. Screw the empire. We are back. Welcome back to another My Ventures with Superman reaction and review. And guys, this is season two, episode six. Since we're in the second half of the season, we're gonna change this background to this background. But yeah, guys, that's the new background. And one more thing. We're going up against Brainiac, so I think it's only right to bring in the blur. There we go, trench coat's back. Your reaction starts now. Mm, yeah, you can't contain him. Oh, whoa. He got a space suit. You know what, I've never been into the whole Superman needing a space suit. I thought he could just travel across space. Krypton was the most advanced society in art, everything. Sounds like Krypton to me, but this is all a lie. <laughs> like, this is what Brainiac told her. Wow, oh, my pa. Martha Kent. Okay. Oh. I love when Superman gets the opportunity to show the greatness of the world because he sees hope. He sees all the positivity. That's why he's one of my favorite superheroes, you know? That positivity, it, it really shows on screen. Forex. Euphorics? Thanagar. 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 Yo, Thanagar, the Thanagarians, hot girl, hawk man. Okay, and the other ones I didn't recognize, but maybe they're planets that, you know, fit with another superhero. I'll go back to it in the review portion, but bro, Thanagar. Hold hmm. on. Dude, I really like this Supergirl. Like, she's trying to act tough, uh, but she actually has a wholesome underside. Oh. There will be no more delays. Mm. Brainiac ain't having it. <laughs> I'm still not. I don't like Superman being in a spacesuit. Helmet. It irks me, man. I don't know why it irks me. Like, why does he need a spacesuit? <laughs> why? <laughs> Why does she need a space suit? I thought they could just travel through space, no problem. I feel like that's an added weakness just to, you know, for the plot. Space. Hmm. We're Kryptonian. We don't need these. Oh, okay. Need to mess with your sad little I knew it. Okay, all right. I, I knew it. I was just about to say, all right, the writers in this show, <laughs> they heard me or like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that is kind of stupid. <laughs> Why they need a spacesuit? They're super powered beings. Like, Goku don't need a spacesuit. Yeah, let's see what you got, Man of Steel. It's very neat. Hmm. This is so wholesome. I really like their chemistry as cousins, you know? Oh, whoa, hey, we haven't seen that super speed in a minute, and dude, see, he's strong. Thanagar. Ooh, we're going to Thanagar? What? Ability to fly too. You'll love it. Oh, oh, okay, that makes more sense. I was about to say, all right, we're about to see Hawkman and Hawk Girl, but nope, they're all gone. Or maybe Brainiac. He went there, yo. Brainiac, he did invade Thanagar before, and he's going to Earth next. She doesn't remember. Oh. Wait, was this the planet that she conquered? The one that they were showing on fire? Yo, this is interesting. Ooh, dude, he looks so dope. I know that's not his comic accurate look. Kneel before father. No, no, dude, the fact that they added in the kneel before Zod to Brainiac, kneel before Brainiac, I love it. Like, it's those little changes that are interesting. And his look, his design, I know it's not comic accurate, but he still has the three dots. That's the main thing. And he looks pretty cool to me. The light of the empire. No, no. Yeah, she is straight up a brainwashed. And dude, Primus Brainiac. <laughs> Primus Brainiac. Hello. Mm. Welcome, your 
Lord. And he got tubes like uh, Bane. <laughs> I noticed that. And defense system in the Empire. Whoa. Now I am the mind that Michael Emerson, he's voicing him, right? From Lost. And I am the father of a wayward daughter. Uh I'm not going to help he's son of Jorel. Mm, he's son of Jorel. And your mother. Hmm. Lara. My That's a lie, right? That's not true. Or maybe it is. I knew all in the house of El. I assure you, the empire I seek to create is not the one your father knew. And dude, out, we will speak later. wait, wait, what? <laughs> Did he just say, watch out, we'll speak later? She's like, shut up, I, I found somebody better. <laughs> That's what I took from that. Like, all right, Supergirl, you okay, but I found a wayward son now. I got the Superman. Dude, he's gonna try to control Superman because he could be that ultimate weapon, you know? If he got the Man of Steel on his side, man, that empire will be unstoppable. But, dude, I like this, and yeah, comment down below. I forgot what Michael Emerson's character was in Lost. Like, what was his name? And he was actually recently in, uh, what was the show? Fallouts. Great show, by the way. But yeah, tell me down below what his character's name was in Lost. Let me show you my Krypton. What? My Krypton. Dude. Yo. The noise, like the music, or not the music, but the sound effect. Whoa. Dude, a parademon, Thanagar, what's the one in the middle? A means to measure your potential. Mmm, his potential. Whoa. Uh, you are familiar with the Kryptonian mind scan, are you? Green Lantern? What is going on? Yo, dude, he does! He does! Oh my gosh! He has a Green Lantern ring! Bro, this guy is sick! It's perfect. No, this dude. Is, this is too cruel. This is cruel, dude. He was crying. Who is that guy though? Like, which Green Lancer is him? Is that? Is that supposed to be Kellawag? Whoa, dude, the freeze breath. Freaking awesome. Is that supposed to be Kellawag? Dude, I gotta know this. <laughs> Wait, hold up. All right. And then Parademon, Dark Side is out there somewhere. Like, it's confirmed now. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Awesome shot. Whoa, dude. Dude, I like the Thanagar look. Like the design. Really slim and sleek. He only needs his power, his physical power. Whoa, oh my gosh, the aura. Yo, he going Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Superman. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yo, let's go. Bro. I'm, I'm hyped, bro. That is awesome. Red Sun Omega. Red Sun Omega? Oh yeah, he's screwed now. Yeah, he's screwed. Your father was weak with ambitions mm. so small they could be contained within a cradle. Ah, uh, a bottle. He's about to control him. I this just is need wait. You to kneel. <laughs> kneel before Brainiac. Wow. Wait, is that it? Wait, hold up. And dude, this is really giving off, like, you know, Superman, the animated series, the OG one, season three, the legacy storyline where Darkseid took control of Superman and he's going to put him up against Earth. I can definitely see Brainiac taking control of Superman right now, sending him to Earth, and Superman will be the ultimate weapon for his invasion. Literally, like, we're putting Brainiac on a dark side level scale, so imagine dark side in this universe. Like, he is going to be epic. But you will comply. Mm. I will comply. No. Yo. You did so well bringing your cousin Kal-El home. 
Mm, see? He's brainwashing her. And he's going to try to do the same thing to Superman. Nah. Screw the Empire. <laughs> like, nah. What? Uh, Jimmy, she don't remember Jim. Or no. She's going to. In the new Kryptonian Are we going to get like an episode where we're going into the mind of Superman and Brainiac is trying to control it? I feel like we're heading that di direction. Like, that'd be really cool. Show yourself. Mm. Show me. Wow, dude. Great voice acting. I got chills, man. Wow. Oh, it was Brainiac. Yo! Yo! Or no, 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 it was her, but you know, <laughs> yeah, it was her. Yo! She conquered, she killed all these people. No! Mm. I couldn't. The blood is on her hands, all the guilt. That's a strong image, man. Whoa! Dude, I got chills like I'm watching a high-level anime. That's how it feels, man. This show, amazing. Huh. Whoa. Who is that? Jimmy Flamebird? Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Yo. Wait, was that Monster Mala in the brain? Yo, what is going on? Yo, this show. Wait, wait hold up, hold up. <laughs> I love this show, man. Yo, cool final shot, too. Look at that. Like, look at Supergirl, bro. This might be one of my favorite versions of Supergirl. Like, her design, her anime-like look, and the Android 18 look, and then just how she acts, the voice acting. Like, that... Oh, man. That one scene when she finally, like we just watched it, she figured out that she conquered all these planets and her saying, show me, such strong uh, voice acting. And yeah, bro, and I, I saw Monster Mala in the Brain. We're probably going to find out how Jimmy and Lois and Monster Mala in the Brain got there in the next episode and resume where we left off in episode eight. That's what I believe. And maybe get like a dream episode with Superman fighting off against Brainiac in his mind. But what I want to talk about right now is those three characters, the Green Lantern, the Parademon, and the Thanagarian. All right, so these three characters that Superman fights at the end of the episode in the epic fight, we got the Green Lantern, who I'm theorizing is not Kellogg, but like a Green Lantern of the similar species, you know? Like the same species of Kellogg, but you know, Brainiac conquered his planets. That'd be very interesting. And also we got Thanagarian, a hawk person, which I must point out, I really loved the design of this hawk man, <laughs> this Thanagarian, because it's so slick and slim. Like it looked really cool. And then the Parademon, of course, which that tells us that dark side apocalypse is out there somewhere. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Darkseid and his legion of apocalypse, his army are actually the reason that Krypton originally exploded. Like maybe Krypton and Apocalypse had like a war, a war between Krypton, Apocalypse, and maybe Thanagar. Thanagar usually is involved in everything space related, so I wouldn't be surprised. Those are the three characters. I wanna point out something that I went back to that scene and I didn't notice in my first viewing, but when Superman is fighting the Green Lantern, he's crying, right? The Green Lantern. Now at first I thought, okay, the Green Lantern is brainwashed. This is actually him and he's just trying to break out of Brainiac's control, and that's why he's crying. It's very hard, like Brainiac has his iron fist on him. But then it was shown that all of these characters, the Thanagarian, the Parademon, the Green Lantern, they're actually all Brainiac robots. All like just hol or actually no, robots or holograms, yeah. I think they were holograms, but you know what that tells me? That means Brainiac 
when he conquered the Green Lantern world and saw that, okay, him controlling this Green Lantern and seeing the Green Lantern cry because now that Green Lantern was enslaved, Brainiac actually knows that emotion and calculate it into the hologram. So that tells me that this version of Brainiac actually understands some type of emotion. Usually he's emotionless, man. And yeah, I found that interesting. Now, going a little earlier in the episode, when Superman, he finds the Jimmy photos, but he also finds some Easter eggs. We get the Thanagarian Easter egg, which was brought full circle by the end of the episode, but also two other Easter eggs from like two other planets. Planets, and I found out one of the planets was the planets where the Omega Men reside. That's cool. And the other planet is another Green Lantern Easter egg. It's the planets where Chip the Squirrel, bro, Chip the Squirrel, the Green Lantern, it's his planets. So that means Brainiac or Supergirl she conquered that planet as well. And yeah, guys, speaking of Supergirl, this version of Supergirl might be my favorite version of the character. I know it's only been like two episodes, but man, is she awesome. Like, she has so much emotion. The voice actress is killing it. The design, her story so far, and the fact that she committed, like, genocide. Like, holy crap. Like, she committed a huge level of genocide, conquering and destroying all these planets, but she was brainwashed by Brainiac. That's gonna stick with her for a while, and I can't wait to see her go through this character arc. It should be very interesting. And Brainiac, I think, is gonna try to do the same thing to Superman that he did to Supergirl. He's going to go into the mind of Superman and try to control him. And I wouldn't be surprised that episode eight, or maybe episode nine, maybe really close to the end of the season, we get like a dream episode that's all in Superman's mind and him basically being shown the bad parts of Earth, like Brainiac trying to convince him that, hey, we gotta conquer this planet, but Superman, he fights back and he shows Brainiac the good of Earth, the good parts, the positivity, the hope, what Superman stands for, man. Man, it's gonna be so good. And actually, one more thing, all right? Well, besides the cliffhanger, next week we're gonna see how Jimmy, Lois, Monster, Mall in the Brain, I'm happy they're back. How do they get to Supergirl? But yeah, my last thing that I noticed, and I thought about it, and I double checked, but in the season one episode, the one with Mr. Mixed Yes Spitlick, when we have the Legion of Loises, and we get that one scene where Lois is looking at all the different alternate supermen, and you see one evil Superman who is like looking out at like a place he conquered, and how Supergirl, how Kara, was looking at the places she conquered, it kind of reminded me of that evil Superman. I remember last season, I was like, what alternate Superman is that? I don't know, like I couldn't connect it to the comics and now I think maybe that Superman is from a world in the multiverse where Brainiac actually controlled Superman first instead of Supergirl. Maybe. That's my theory. I feel like we're gonna see that in an episode. Maybe, hey, maybe they'll have Lois go through through the multiverse again and find that evil Superman and try to turn him to the good side. Maybe we'll see a evil Superman that was actually controlled by Brainiac that fed into his empire go up against our Superman, who's obviously going to fight back and go against the empire. I'm just saying that that's my theory and then dark side maybe we'll see him not next season i'm thinking cyborg superman next season dark side season four and hey we have silas stone maybe we'll see cyborg in season four as well dude there's so much potential and hey maybe batman like the gotham gazette they've set up so much and yeah i love this show man this episode was a masterpiece i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 this is what i expect from this show like after season one i was like this is a great show and the season started started out fine. This one, I was like, okay, a solid build up. And then episode five was like, all right, we're getting somewhere. And this episode, man, surpassed all my expectations.
awesome. All right, guys, some of your thoughts down below. What are your theories as well? What do you think about all the Easter eggs? What do you think about my theory about the evil Superman under Brainiac in the multiverse? I really want to know you guys' thoughts on that down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching and peace out.